30 a.m. scheduled mindful eating. I'm just going to wait a few minutes, see who comes on. I know this was uh, um, sort of a last minute thing, but I figured I would come and do this and leave it up and you guys could see what it's all about and maybe we could do it again. Maybe we could do it um, over Zoom. So here we are. I have, let's see, I have some notes over here. Hmm. Good morning. All right, it's 1027. I'm gonna wait until 1030 to actually start. And I gave myself some, some notes so I don't go on and on. This should only be about maybe 15 minutes, 20 minutes the most, and then we could like finish our breakfast on our own. So actually, if you're here, if you're seeing this, Take a few minutes, even if you don't have breakfast. I just made myself some eggs and some toast. Um, but get grab something to eat, anything, so you can practice some mindful eating with us. Get a little something to eat, a little something to drink, so you can practice this with us. Good morning, Leanne. Thanks for joining. I don't know if too many people are going to join us live, but I'm going to keep this up so people can get a taste of this. A taste of this, no pun intended. Um, So I'm going to start because it's 1029. So, sorry, um, I have notes, but then I'm not going to be natural. I, here I am like trying to read them and be perfect. And I really know what I want to say. I'm going to post up notes after this as well. So welcome to Mindful Eating Breakfast. And thank you for joining us. And even if you pop on during this, event. You could sit down and watch and think about it, or you could grab some food. So the mindful eating is another way to bring our spiritual practice and our meditation and our yoga into our everyday life. You know, it's one thing to go and meditate and then just go about your regular day, you know, cursing at people on the road and doing everything that we always do, which, you know, I do as well. That's what humans do. Um, of course, if you have like a meditation practice, the more you meditate, the more it does naturally come into your everyday life. And whenever we say the word yoga, most people picture like a bunch of skinny people twisting like a pretzel and they say well I can't do that I'm not flexible and yeah it's too bad yoga is so healthy but it just seems so strange you know the majority of people still feel this way they feel like everyone says yoga is healthy but it's like a bunch of skinny people putting their toes putting their feet around their neck and you know I can't do that and then they feel very defeated and I kind of want to say that's not real that's not what yoga is about at all it's about being present and learning to slow your body down and find the spaces in between the thoughts and the same thing with meditation 
people picture, the majority of people picture like a bearded man or a monk a sitting, like a long white bearded man sitting on a mountain in meditation for hours. And people think, well, I can't do that. So mindfulness and meditation doesn't have to be that image. We could practice meditation and mindfulness right when we're eating. So one of the things we're going to do before we have our breakfast or whatever we have in front of us to eat is first just do what we do before a yoga class is just set our intention. So take a moment to just close your eyes and inhale through the nose and exhale out the mouth. Slow your body down. A good practice when you're eating is to not have the TV on and to try to just focus on your eating. Try to focus on one thing at a time. Now, if you're out in public, you're having a quick busy lunch at work, maybe you're not going to make a big episode out of breathing, but no one will know that you are in your mind quietly taking a little breath. <sighs> so take a breath. We'll set our intention. And we're going to say that we're grateful for the food that we have in front of us. So I am grateful for the food that's in front of me. This food nourishes me. This food will nourish me. This food will satisfy me. I am worthy of this beautiful food. I am grateful for this beautiful food. My body is going to break down these nutrients and these nutrients are going to go exactly where I need them. And let's um, begin to have a, a bite of our food and let's try to really eat it slowly and amazing. I just, I feel like I still even ate it kind of fast. Leanne, I hope you have food in front of you since you're here doing this with me. That was just amazing. That was just slower than I normally eat, believe it or not. I'm going to try to do this next piece of egg a little slower. Um. <laughs> so I'm going to try to chew this one a little bit more. You really? Mm. <laughs> what did she say? Um, so I'm really just, it's amazing that I just, I hope you guys are getting the same amazing feeling. So if you're watching it later, I want, oh, cool. That you have food in front of you. Even if you're watching this later and doing it later, that second bite, I chewed slower and it's amazing. I tasted it. I tasted the food. You know, we get full faster. It makes us not have that second and third plate. And also, if you're not enjoying what you're eating, maybe you could even go and eat something else. Like, don't just eat mindless calories. It's so amazing. So let's take another bite. Maybe do, let's take something different. If you have another, either take another bite of what you have, or now if you have something else, I want you to try something else. I have some bread with butter here. This is so funny that to be eating on a on screen, I'm trying to take a little piece so it so it doesn't so it looks a little more graceful. Ah. So amazing. I think it's also, I know it is, it's also better for your health. I think we get the nutrition more than when we, when we don't swallow things whole. It's, it's, you know, mindfulness is just doing one thing at a time, focusing on the task at hand is meditation, is mindfulness. And this is how you bring your spirituality and appreciation into your everyday life. amazing. I think mindful eating is a really, really huge key to health. 
So I have, um, this is water, lemon water. I didn't do the mimosa. So cheers to mindful eating. And if you have something to drink, let's take our slow drink. This is it. This is actually meditation and yoga. This helps us with everything. This helps us from not overeating and also not undereating and paying attention to what you're doing, focusing on the task at hand. I had so much to say and I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like losing it. I love this. I'm going to read what Leanne is writing. I have yogurt and granola and blueberries and ooh, nice. Ooh, and she's having a mimosa. Nice. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. And you know, I love to use these glasses because every day is a celebration. So today is just like a first intro to mindful eating. So I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to read, I'm going to just check my notes. Cheers. I'm going to check my notes. I came really close to having a little champagne this morning, but I didn't have orange juice in the house and I had two Cosmopolitans last night. So I stuck the lemon water in my fancy glass. <laughs> so, um, hi Jane, we're doing mindful, mindful eating. So, Mindful eating is about using all our senses to be present when we're eating instead of just going through the motions. So it actually just what I said. So I'm going to read, I'm just going to read some affirmations. I'm, I went blank. So I'm glad that I wrote them down. I'm glad that I wrote some of them down. I'm surprised I went blank. So let's take a moment before we take another bite and it's okay if you guys are taking bites and um, I know for those of you that just came on a little late, if you have a second to get something to eat, anything and just do this with us, a little eat, something to eat, something to drink. So we're just going to take a break and before we take our next bite, maybe just close your eyes. And you can, you can say out loud or say to yourself or just listen to me saying this, I am savoring each bite. I am listening to my body. Today, I eat for nourishment. Again, our body hears everything. Our mind tells it. I joyfully observe, observe the tastes and textures of this food. I'm making compassionate choices toward myself. I stop eating when I'm comfortably full. I eat well so I can live well. I appreciate and give thanks for this food. I'm free from old patterns and habits that involve food. I release past guilt and negative feelings about eating. So I want to say, you know, let's take another little taste before I say, before I go into my spiel. So I just want to say a good one before we take another bite. Um, I am savoring each bite. So let's take another bite. And you may have been eating while I was doing that, and that's okay, too. I'm really amazed. I stopped talking because I'm being a bad example. I was talking while I was chewing, which wasn't mindful eating. I'm amazed at how different these eggs taste, how great they taste when I was doing it mindfully and I still wasn't even doing it fully mindfully because I was talking with my mouth full. So our body really, really hears what we say. One of my, my spiritual men mentors was actually like a bodybuilding champion. So most of the time he had his protein and his chicken and his fish and his eggs or whatever. But 
he loved cream puffs. And when he wanted the cream puffs, he would have the cream puffs. And before you eat that cream puff, you say, you know, my my body metabolizes this food. Oh, this is the one I like. This everything I eat turns to health and beauty, you know. But it's okay to also have what you like. And, you know, you eat it, you satisfy yourself. And then when you really tune into your body, you, you kind of start to say, okay, I had enough of that, you know. And you start to eat more in moderation because you're paying attention to it. So let's say, you know, I remember in my life, I was so happy when I started to go to Friendly's and order a small and, you know, not, not feel guilty, not gain weight because a small vanilla ice cream and enjoying it and eating it slowly, you know, once a week is in moderation. And it's not like, um, I mean, I'm getting off on a whole other tangent now, but instead I feel like you have a large, you're talking to people, you're not even paying attention to what you're doing when you're eating, and then you want more. But also that's kind of a whole other story. When you're paying attention to what you're doing, you won't overeat as much. And that's not saying that I don't still, I notice when you're aware, I notice all the time that uh, still, I'm not, oh, most of the time I'm not eating because I'm hungry. I'm eating because it's a stress eating. It's more, not stress eating, comfort eating. So yeah, but you know, awareness is like the key. And I always cringe because I just know better now when people say to me, um, oh, I was bad yesterday. I had Italian bread. I was bad yesterday. I had a piece of cake. You're not bad. We have to get that abuse of our body out of our head. And oh, I feel guilty. I had, I had bread. Our body will metabolize things differently by when you're going to eat. If you choose to have that piece of cake, this is really what I want to say. If you choose to have that piece of cake or ice cream, choose it and enjoy it and savor every bite. Don't tell yourself you feel guilty because it will metabolize differently. Enjoy. And mind when you begin to mindfully eat, this will start to happen. You enjoy your food better, will absorb the nutrition better, we won't overeat, and it's not because I'm saying that Everyone has to lose weight. Everyone's obsessed with being skinny. It'll just maintain our proper nutrition, mind and body connection. There's a study about water, water molecules. Um, I can't think of the person's name now. And I have the book where I'm not going to, I have to explain it right. I'm going to, I've explained this before where this man studied water molecules and he put the water in um, jars and he wrote on the outside of the water and spoke love into the water. And in other water jars, he spoke terrible, abusive words too. And the water molecules were completely different. So you had good water in the, in the ones that were love. So um, the studies with the plants. So this is spirituality. And this is actually a form of meditation. So you don't always have to sit in a corner and ohm for hours to meditate. Mindful eating is all part of yoga and mindfulness. So let's eat. Let's have a little more. And let's uh, chew it slowly. Everything I eat turns to health and beauty in my body and gives me a nourished and lean muscular body. And I enjoy my food and I appreciate my food. 
So cheers to that. Oh, I want to have, I'm going to go, I'm going to go jump ahead and go to dessert because I love doing this with the York peppermint patty. Does anyone have um, any questions or anything that they want to say in the comments? I was going to, um, I teach these mindfulness classes and um, I teach them a little differently. I taught them to kids at the school and I also taught at college uh at colleges. So when I did it with the college students, I brought in raises and I brought in peppermint patties. And the night before the class, I went to CVS and bought these. And the first one, I'm going to, I'm going to demonstrate. I got it. I got, I'm going to demonstrate. So <laughs> it's going to be embarrassing. I just thought of this now. Um, I went and I went to CVS. I got some peppermint patties for the next day's class. I get in my car and I did this. So this isn't mindful eating. <laughs> oh my God, so gross. So you guys just keep eating while I finish chewing this. So then I was like, I'm having some extra calories today to prove a point here. So then I go, Lori. And also right now I just felt it. I, I actually kind of did feel that I ate that because I'm talking to you guys and I, I probably chewed it more than I did it that night, believe it or not. And then I said, oh my God, Glory, you bought these for mindful eating and look what you did. You just threw that in your mouth and you didn't even chew it and you don't even know that you ate it. So then I took another one. I want you guys to buy these and try this out. You won't eat the whole bag if you do it like this. Honestly, I don't even feel like having the second one, but I'm going to... Then... So I had all the students do this in the class. And then I did this that night in my car afterwards. I didn't even know I ate that. So that was a total waste, total destruction, total waste to shove that down my mouth and not even enjoy it. So then the second one, I said, okay, Lori. Amazing. What I would do, I set a timer in the class. And I don't know, two minutes or three minutes. And, you know, you guys could experiment with this. If you want to experiment with a peppermint patty, if you want to experiment with something in your front of you right now, take something and eat it really slow. Completely, completely different experience. Completely. Amazing. Might not even want to finish the whole thing. I mean, that sounds ridiculous with a peppermint patty, but I, I'm amazed at how full I'm getting from having a couple bites, eating them slow. Oh my gosh, so delicious. This is completely different from the first one that I shoved down my mouth. And, you know, I'm still a work in progress on this path. I love when I talk about it because it reminds me. So anyway, I'm going to put this down. And I am going to say cheers to this new day. Every day is a special occasion. And... I hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, let's just try to be mindful about what we're doing because all of this, and I just have to say that all of this is yoga. Yoga, you could be doing yoga when you're eating. You could be doing yoga. The word yoga, you know, is so misunderstood, but today this is mindful eating and the mindful eating is one way to bring gratitude and to bring your spirituality practice and awareness and enlightenment into an everyday life. And it can really improve your life in the area of um, health and nutrition without going on any kind of crazy diets. 
simply by being mindful. So have a great day. Thank you so much for joining me live. Namaste.